Ultrabeat is Logic's drum synthesizer, and you can think of it as a collection of 25 separate synthesizers, one for each key in a little over a two octave range. And this gives us the ability to make every single note be really, really different, and every note can respond in its own unique way to the Roly Seaboard Rise. Let's make an interesting kind of hat pattern tool here and see what we can accomplish. Uh, by using an arpeggiator and interesting arpeggiator rates, we can create great hat performances, and we can give them really interesting variations by manipulating the various dimensions of touch. Now, because we have a separate synthesizer per note, you want to make sure that you have voice auto select on. This way, the entire interface will shift as you play notes on the key waves, and so we see just what we're editing. And I'm going to look for a hat sound that works well with my song. I've chosen the acoustic hi-hat bank from the drum banks library here in Logic. I'm going to look for a sound I like. I like that one. Now, you might find if you, when you start playing, you don't hear any drums, and that's likely because you're in the wrong octave. If I was to go down an octave, I'm not going to hear anything as I play. Because we're only in that limited two octave range, you may have to adjust to find the notes that the, uh, the ultra beat is actually on. So I have this nice short hi-hat sound, and I like really short hi-hat sounds, particularly when we're playing really fast parts. The faster it is, the shorter the sound uh, is going to work in the music, typically. So I have this sound, uh, I'm seeing all the parameters uh, for it, and I want to start having the dimensions of touch modulate these parameters. And I'd like it to change pitch as I go up and down on the key wave. That'll give me a lot of interesting variations in my song. So like EXS24, ES2, and Sculpture, we have a variety of controller assignments that we can set that are kind of global, so that as you change patches, those controller assignments remain fixed. And I'm going to configure the first three of the controller assignments to correspond to these three dimensions of touch, which is glide, slide, and press. Remember, glide sends pitch bend. And so I'm going to set my first controller assignment to pitch bend. We know that slide, which is the y-axis on the key waves, that's going to send control change 74. So I'll go to controller assignment B and set that to be CC 74. And we know that press sends after touch MIDI messages. So I'll set that as controller assignment C. We'll choose after touch there. To make slide control the pitch of this hi-hat, I'll go down to the oscillator section. This is going to be sample playback, and we have our pitch option right here. If I was to play this hi-hat and just adjust that pitch, we had a nice variation in different hat sounds, but I want to control that with slide. We see that next to this uh, parameter, there's an option for modulation. For the first modulation, I'm going to choose max. And then for the second modulation, I'll choose controller B, which is going to be that slide dimension. Once I do that, we're going to have two flags that are up here. This is going to set the modulation range and direction. And so now, we get those nice variations as we play up and down on the key. Now I can adjust that range. To me, that got too high too fast. I liked it to be a little lower. Let's see what we get. Maybe back high again, you, know, you find a range that works for you. Great. Now the next thing I want to do is make this kind of automatically play a pattern for me. And in the breakdown of my song, I really want it to feel like the song's kind of downshifting or slowing down, and so a triplet feel would work really well there. And though I could perform it manually, it's nice to have an arpeggiator kind of assist. So before Ultrabeat in the MIDI effects area on the track channel strip, I'll choose arpeggiator. And I'm going to set this to be a rate of uh, 16th note triplets. And I'll go to Options. Now, I did notice that the synthesizer is also responding to the strike gesture, which is sending velocity. And I, I don't really want that. I'd like it to be pretty consistent. So I'm going to change what the arpeggiator is sending to be in fixed mode, and it'll send a fixed 80 for velocity. And then there's one other option I want to change. If I go to Keyboard and Input Snap, I'm going to set that to none, and that means that it'll start the triplet whenever I hit the key. It won't wait till the next kind of grid unit to start that. And so now let's try this out. If I play that key wave, it's a pretty cool sound that we can kind of adjust the pitch of that hi-hat over time, and it'll work right in our song. Let's kind of lead up to the breakdown and hear how this sounds in context. <laughs> 